Welcome to Talking Trash. And today we're out at the Becker County Transfer Station and Demolition Landfill, and I have Steve Skoog, the Director of Environmental Services. He's going to explain a little bit about where we're at right now. Hi, Sandy. Here we are at a transfer station, like Sandy said, and uh, we're in the middle of a construction project where we're building a new uh, solid waste transfer station. And uh, people wonder what a transfer station is. It's a place where we bring all the garbage that's collected around the county to this site and then we we load that into trucks and it's hauled for for end disposal either at from Becker County to the Fargo landfill or to the Perm resource recovery facility where it's burned and turned into steam. Uh, the reason we need a new transfer station is that our old one was built many years ago and it was not built up to today's standards that the state has mandated that the county uses. Uh, it's much smaller than what we need so as part of a more of a regional project, uh, we got some funding from the state to help build a, this new transfer station. The new transfer station is, is much, much larger than our old one. The old one is about 2,800 square feet, and the new one will be about 16,000 square feet. The hope, the, the new designs will, are such that we can do all our activities inside of a building, so on days when it's wet or in, in climate or windy, uh, we can do the loading inside of a building which helps reduce litter from blowing around and it also allows us the opportunity to store waste so that if for whatever reason we need to have to stop sending garbage to a landfill temporarily or to the perm resource recovery facility we can store it on site until those facilities open up again another reason would be is that when people bring in waste to us it's it's often commingled uh, we're not always sure what's in it, so uh, when a waste hauler comes in, we will, instead of direct dumping into a semi, uh, we'll dump it on the floor and we'll have the capacity to sort some of that product out to pull out uh, materials that aren't supposed to go to a landfill. Also to pull out uh, products that could be recycled. And so there's a number of reasons why we need a new facility. You know, obviously the county has grown many are uh, substantially since uh, the last transfer station was constructed and hopefully this new transfer station will address all our needs currently as well as going into the future for a number of years. Uh, behind us you can see the new transfer station as it's being constructed. Uh, right now we have footings in and uh, this is a very massive building. It's mostly concrete going up about 12 feet and then from there on it'll be a steel structure on top of that. The sidewall heights are about 30 feet high at the sidewall and inside of the building they'll, they'll be right around 40 feet. Uh, so it's, it's a very big massive building. Sandy, do you have any questions? I do actually. I have a whole list of questions here. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you kind of answered the, the why do we need to build it and uh, you answered the footings. So what's, what's next as far as this building? What, what comes next? Now they're doing the footings right now. What's after the footings? Immediately following getting the footings formed up and poured, uh, there's a short period of time when they have to let those cure, they'll be starting to form up the walls. And if you were to see part of this, the walls are formed up on part of it already, so they'll hopefully be pouring those next week. And then as the walls get poured, uh, after that and over the winter, they'll be bringing in a pre-engineered steel building and putting it on top of it. And the idea is that uh, over the winter they can do much of the construction and finishing the finish work and it will be completed then we expect by June of 2016 it should be operational. That's not too far away. We got a, we got some work to do before we're all ready for that, but not it's it's come a long way. So, uh, what types of activity will be done in the new building? Well, as I talked about earlier, uh, we'll be collecting waste there from waste haulers, people that bring in garbage from residences and garbage trucks and roll-offs from possibly different sites. And uh, that waste then will be sorted uh, depending on where we want that waste to be delivered to. And uh, we're looking at possibly two to three different sorts. One would be waste that's going to the Fargo landfill uh, and then some of the waste would be going to the Perm Resource Recovery Facility and we'll be able to pull out some waste out of there that's, we can be, that can be recycled. 
of those different volumes, we anticipate between 70 to 75 percent of the waste going to the perm resource recovery facility and about 15 percent going to the Fargo landfill and there will be a residual amount that we recycled. All right, and our next show we'll talk a little bit more about what's happening here. Thanks. Stay tuned for the next installment.